As a kid in the early 80s, my parents would travel from the north down to the south to vacation in what was known as a Christian Disneyland called Heritage USA. The third most popular theme park in the entire country, right behind Disney World and Disneyland. With all these people here, it's just wonderful. Yeah, we just love it. Today, I find myself here again after more than three decades. And the park having all the excitement and many of the devices of a Disneyland. And I'm here to explore to see if I can come across any still standing structures or hidden relics from a time long past. And we'll take a little walk down here in front of the barn. I also plan on doing a little reminiscing. There it is, the Heritage Tower. After all these years, all throughout this place, we would roam parent free and then the fun would begin. We're here at Heritage USA in Fort Mill, South Carolina. Let's go check it out. In the early 1980s, tucked away in the small town of Fort Mill, South Carolina, lied a Christian theme park built by televangelist Jim and Tammy Faye Baker. Visitors during those days would be well familiar with this very road which led to the famous entrance sign of the Christian Resort known as Heritage USA. The sign stood about right there by that patch of shrubs and bushes. Upon arriving, visitors would travel along a simple curved roadway which passed by many notable landmarks and signature Heritage USA residential properties constructed for PTL followers and supporters to live and reside on the park grounds during that time period and even now in present day. As a kid in those days, coming with my family to vacation at PTL was truly a great experience. Today will be fun seeing what still lies here and just how much of it I can remember. This very stretch of road that we're driving down now was and when you were on this road and you had just arrived at PTL, boy, you, you were excited. I mean, this would be the equivalent of driving down a road and waiting to see the Disney World sign overhead. This road is called Heritage Boulevard. It passes by neighborhoods and apartment complexes still here from the early PTL era. It led you deep into the heart of the Heritage USA grounds to where you would find hotels, a water park, restaurants, campgrounds, shows and entertainment venues, and just an abundance of fun things to see and do on a family vacation. My mission for the day would be to explore the area surrounding the old Heritage Grand Hotel and Heritage Towers, as well as see if anything still remained of the popular Heritage Island water park. From there, I'll go deeper into the old park grounds to search for any surviving structures or original Heritage USA artifacts from those earlier days. And finally, I plan to go take a look at the Barn Auditorium, where the old PTL Club television ministry was broadcast from. As I drove further into the old area, I quickly realized today was going to be a great day to explore, reminisce, and reflect on those days from my youth. Well, what you see in front of me here is probably the biggest staple of Heritage USA, and it's the Grand Hotel. And if you were coming to PTL, back in those days, this was a thriving area of cars coming in and out. And then back there, you can see the Heritage Towers, the unfinished towers right there behind it. Unloading luggage at the at the entryway there to the hotel. The Grand Hotel. After all these years. But what you see here was the entrance to the Heritage Water Park and you would go across that bridge there, which 
it's been torn down since then so you only see what the remaining part still standing there but it would lead to like a rotunda style building in the middle where you would could do a little uh, souvenir shopping buy your tickets to the water park and then of course enter into the actual water park area so this is underneath the bridge that led to the rotunda of which you would buy the ticket grab a souvenir and head out to have a fun day at the water park pretty awesome memory to think about where the this housing stands right there used to live the heritage water park completely gone and replaced by housing but probably one of the funnest places to be as a kid boy how times change things but if you can only see what I see in my head when I see this of course all the storefronts were different at that time it really had like a Disney-ish shop type look of all the frontal parts of the buildings I remember so many times as a kid coming through here walking through the Grand Hotel at that time the hotel had 501 rooms with the main attraction being Main Street USA an indoor shopping complex found inside the hotel many times I remember coming over this very under this very covering Being here this close, it was easy to visualize the past. I wanted to see if I could take a look around inside. I was just gonna walk through, is that all right? Or? Uh, no, we have to check at the desk. At the desk? We are right now. Oh, okay, you are, okay. Check with Hey, how you doing, man? Is it okay if I just walk back in the main street area there? Oh, you're not, okay. You can't even take a quick peek. <laughs> okay. But you can see the old inside here. They currently are closed down, but uh, way it looked way back in the 80s. That was actually a restaurant area right there. There's the old elevators on the, uh, on the sides there you'd take up to your room exactly the way it looked. Remember those elevators many times, but unfortunately we can't go in today. Hey, but that's okay, because trust me, there's plenty more to see here. I'm gonna take you guys to see it. It really just takes you back looking at the the buildings and whatnot and remembering just how vibrant this place was at one point and I'm willing to bet these are the original light posts from that era I decided to walk to the back side of the Grand Hotel and head towards the Heritage Towers to get a first-hand look of the abandoned structure that halted construction before the building was finished back in the day this area would be completely packed with cars of visitors to the Grand Hotel that was actually a back entrance way into the Grand but when you're standing down here it's plain to see there's a lot less to do than when we first started putting the bricks in the place not so long ago all right I'm gonna fly the drone up and see if we can get a, a shot from up above
completely surrounded in barbed wire fencing. Heritage Towers, resort campus lifestyle, active adult community. That is crazy. It just looks from that era. Coming soon, that is weird. A definite cool addition to what was already a awesome theme park here at Heritage USA. Just didn't make it. An eerie sight to see, still firmly planted on the old Heritage USA park grounds. A reminder that time and seasons constantly change, but some things remain the same. And this must have been the planned entrance right here. Maybe those double doors right there. You can see like the intricate piping system underneath. I don't know if that fed like plumbing and water or if there was like wiring fed through that. The bare scaffolding underneath it. Actually, it looks like there's a light on inside there. You see that? All the windows are boarded up. Some of the bricks intact, but looks like some on the sides is definitely crumbled. Right there, you can see a lot of decay. Would have been a really cool tower to be in with all the glass windows. Yeah, there's another light. So I wonder why that light is on. And why would they need that light on? Something fishy. If you can just Imagine in your mind a, a scene from vacation where the family truckster was headed toward Wally World. Oh, yeah. Wally World! We made it! We made it! Upon arrival, and they were excited to get there, they parked and ran into the entrance. This would be about the equivalent of that because upon coming down Heritage Boulevard, you would wrap around and eventually come to this area, which was the check-in cabin. It was a log cabin where you would come check into your campground and you would pull right into that very parking lot right there. In the 80s, my parents pulling in there in our station wagon, the family truckster, or come down that very road right there into this very parking lot so surreal to be here. That very ground, my entire family in a huge station wagon, tired from the travels, but excited to be in PTL. This area here, and I'm not sure if that's the structure right there, used to be a restaurant called The Wagon Wheel. And it was this right here would have been the check-in cabin. Somewhere out here is the exact location my parents parked to start our vacation, mid 80s. Looks like since then they've put brick siding on it, but it used to be completely log cabin. Dad would walk right up that sidewalk there and in there and or check into the campground. I actually think you can see some of the original cabin work from back then through this building or through this open window. Yeah, here we go. The original right there. That's what it looked like. See the brick siding they've since then put in, but that's the uh, that's the original exterior right there. All along throughout the old PTL grounds was what they call tram stops and a tram would come through here and you would wait at the individual tram stops for the tram to come by to transport you to where you would go and I remember there was one somewhere in this vicinity and all throughout here just a really cool memory of uh, remembering those times here in the mid 80s and right up here there used to be a giant moose 
that had a uh, water wheel. And Tammy Faye Baker was big on little accent buildings like that all throughout PTL. And it definitely had the aesthetics of making you really feel like you were at a destination. Unlike what it looks like today, which is housing, neighborhoods. This was all just a pathway deep into some of the better nuggets that lied within PTL. Eventually leading you to where the youth center was, where tennis courts and restaurants and ice cream parlors. Up here on the left, about 100 yards, would have been the entrance to another set of hotels and Buffalo Park. Where as a kid, you definitely would want to find yourself at Buffalo Park because full of good times and excitement. Sliding boards, swings, lakeside, really cool. Believe that would have been somewhere around here. If you can visualize here, hotels on both sides of you leading towards the lake area. And then of course, Buffalo Park tucked away somewhere back in there. Now I specifically remember up here on the right, which I'm pretty sure is not gonna be there now, was a tram stop. And one of the particular reasons why I remember this tram stop so well is because I remember waiting in it. Number one, I love the smell of, I don't know if it was pine, the wood, because the tram stops were made like a cabin with uh, cut wood. So I'm not sure if it was a pine, but you had a really fresh wooden smell within the tram stop. But chances are, if you were waiting in there, somehow a hornet's nest would find a way to lodge its way up in a corner. So I always remember being afraid of the, the nests that were uh, in the corners of the tram stops. But I'm pretty sure that tram stop would have been somewhere on that plot of land right in front of me there. All right, so here I am at the, uh, the old Lakeside Lodges, which is original to Heritage USA. Um, actually right near an area where there used to be tennis courts and tree houses and an area that would lead you right down into the youth center. But this is all original to, to the original PTL. The exact same hotels that were here, the lo they called Lakeside Lodges. Very neat to see the signage with the original Timeshare Lakeside Lodges number on the outside of the building there. There you can see number three, Lakeside Lodges. And imagine if you can, mid 80s, huge water park resided right there in front of me. Um, there used to be a train track that surrounded this entire, this entire lake area. And right over there, if you see that guy fishing, there used to be a train track uh, run through area, a building the train would actually run through but the train would take you all around here and, and stop at various stops to let people out. And this should give you a better vantage point of where the, uh, the covered area the train would go through. Looks like a lot of people are just out here enjoying fishing and the nice weather. Looks like he's about to reel one in. And you would sit here and take in a show. Yeah, so all this area, entire area, it's surrounded with a railroad system. And uh, would come around this lake and drop people off at certain places. And you were just completely enveloped in the wonders of Heritage USA. And trust me, this was just so much fun. It was the kind of place where, as a parent, you you were busy doing your thing and the kids just ran and did whatever they wanted to do. All throughout this place, we would roam parent-free and just a sense of freedom and just fun because you were here and you were here for however long you were gonna be vacationing here and just some really good memories.
we're coming up on some original Heritage USA landmarks. While continuing to walk along the lake area, searching for remaining landmarks and remembering the former layout of the area, it became easier to just clear my mind and keep exploring. All of these buildings are original to Heritage USA back in the 80s. And I'm pretty sure this staging right here was original too. And if my memory serves me right, and I could be wrong, there would be performances and whatnot. There might have been a little bridge. Actually, this might be the bridge that led over to it. That bullfrog is saying hello. Yeah, and these old structures are all from the original PTL grounds. Just really neat, tucked away cottages and locations you could stay at and rent out during your time staying at PTL. So cool to see the original housing from that period. So many memories of being a kid are popping up in my head right now. I'm gonna actually walk back lakeside and see if uh, see what what happens if we go right. See if I can find any other uh, relics from times past that I can share with you guys from the old PTL days. And it looks like all these are now people's homes. Back in the day, they would have been vacation places for people visiting Heritage USA. Yeah, but like I said, back in the day, railroad track all throughout, all surrounding this lake here. There's actually shots of Jim and Tammy Faye Baker on those tracks, on that train. That was the train covered bridge area that the train would run through. And I always remember it had old antique signage all throughout the interior of the covered area. I always remember a Royal Crown Cola sign that was inside that. But they've since then tore that down and now there's no train track and you can see the bridge over there that led to the Rotunda building which led you into the water park right there from a distance. Is that a bench from back in the old PTL days. It's quite weathered and worn. Wood looks uh, pretty weathered there. That is original fencing from those days that's still held up. I wonder if there's still any of the original track system here. That's definitely original from early PTL days. I decided to walk underneath the walkway that led to the Heritage Island Rotunda building and get a closer look at the lake bridge that once carried visitors across by railway. And then here we go, we get a better vantage point of the uh, old railroad track that ran alongside the old water park. what you call those but those dome type tops glass tops are original from the uh, inception of the Grand Hotel back in the 80s and some more original light post from the early days of PTL right there as they were not sure if this uh, materials here is from Days long past. Looks a little dated. Actually, I think that is the old chairs from inside the uh, water park area. Right there. Definite relics from the water park days. And could that be an old classic 
Heritage Water Park trash can? Could be. All right, so let's head over and see if we can uh, find the foundation of the old general store that used to be here on the grounds at PTL. We'll have to cut through where the old cabin style homes are over here. You've got the uh, awesome stone chimney there. Uh, here we got a name from a long time ago, the Cedar Inn, which is built in 2020. And that would have been from a period way back in the 80s when all these buildings had names. That would be the Cedar Inn 2020. Visiting in the year 2020. Kind of ironic. I know the general store was completely torn down, but we'll see if the foundation's there, maybe. I'll give you a general idea of where it generally lied as a general store. See that hill directly ahead? Over that hill is a little piece of road that led straight to the general store. Yeah, but sure enough, the foundation for the old general store is here. That is the store perimeter foundation as it was back then. Let's see if we, uh, what we see up through here. Yeah, this is original. I remember this. Not sure what it is now. These were just some more lodging areas that were right behind the general store on the grounds at Heritage USA. if that is from one of the old interiors of one of the lodges here but it's like a uh, little girl has a looks like a bunny rabbit so there is the uh, entrance to the upper room we'll go check that out this is definitely original to the old PTL days and should be should give us a little look into where the barn is because the barn is right around I believe actually right behind the upper room <laughs> and here you've got the scene of a uh, looks like this is gonna be maybe a pilot washing his hands clean of a uh, sentencing Jesus to be crucified. They've got a monument here. The Ten Commandments. Pretty sure a couple ministries actually hold their services right here. Actually, hear some music right now. You can see the old stained glass windows. The upper room is a replica of the room where the Last Supper was held. The building, constructed in 1982, was designed to appear as it was in Jerusalem, Israel, and stands today as it did back in the old PTL days.
very peaceful place. Just sitting back here filming, I just, I feel at peace. Very relaxing. Nice gentle breeze is blowing through right now. Another entrance door. Love the arch type door they have on these. Kind of that uh, first or second century look. sure if this symbolizes the rock that Jesus was known to have prayed by. Proceed to the root. Proceed to the root. With the help of my GPS, I made my way over towards the old barn the former headquarters of PTL Studios. Glenwood Forest Drive. But this is the original barn area. From the original PTL days. Another part of my history here, I would probably have sat right here on these very benches at this tram stop that is right in front of the barn and right after a church service that my family would attend or I'd be attending with friends or whatnot and we stayed here for a week or so probably sat right here and waited for the the tram to come by to pick us up to take us probably to the youth center to go play video games at the game room or maybe to go swimming at the Olympic sized swimming pool that was right nearby here. Yeah, so right behind me is where the amphitheater for the Passion Play. And I was actually in the Passion Play. I, my mom actually signed us up to be in that play. And really cool memory from being a kid and being a part of that play that happened right here on these grounds somewhere in that vicinity right behind me. And we'll take a little walk down here in front of the barn. And this was just full of people. I mean, you, it's hard to visualize it now, but especially because that was at the height of Jim and Tammy Faye Baker's fame, um, you know, being the founders of PTL. So it was a huge deal back then to see them for the people and the followers of uh, Heritage USA. Able to spend this much time on the old grounds of Heritage USA, my sense of exploration and discovery was in full force. I mean, what a feat of architecture to put those type of rocks on the entire building. That is just so interesting. Just look at that. It's like solid rock. I mean, each one of them had to be placed in there and then plastered in between. That is so neat. This barn was the uh, location for many a Christian concert and seminar or church service. So much went on right here in the barn. And right through those doors, I'm not sure if you can see that, right through those doors would lead right into the barn auditorium. And then on the back side of the barn 
was the TV studio, and that is where the uh, Jim and Tammy Faye Baker show would happen. Looks like the door's open there. You see that carpeting? It looks like that could be original carpeting. Way back from the 80s. I know they have done a lot of repair work to the barn. At one point it was in pretty bad shape. I believe there's a lot of roof damage. I think there was actually a big gaping hole in the top of the barn, maybe in, even in some of the siding, but they have since then refurbished it and got it looking good. Next on my agenda was to try to access the road that runs behind the barn to get a glimpse of one of the old PTL campgrounds and to see if I could locate any other original surviving structures from the old days. I'm not sure, but this road up here, if it's still open, we'll ride past the barn and go back by it. But this is the road that used to take you back into the backside of PTL in the youth center all the campground area so hopefully we can get back through here so let's take a little ride through here yep and this would be an original campground from the PTL days this is really neat I'm really going back now and I would like to walk back in there to see if there's still some of the, the same shower houses that are inside that and maybe even potentially an old tram stop which would be really cool if we could find one but I know right here was the road that led to pretty sure this would have been the turn somewhere around this point that took you to the front of the youth center and I'm almost certain that's it used to be a little tiny hotel area up here, which, is this it? I think this is. Back through here, used to sit a series of treehouse apartments. My parents actually stayed in these one time too, right here on Tennis Villa. This road right here, I was skateboarding down when I was a kid and actually fell off my skateboard and got a concussion, woke up in the hospital. There's the, uh, the treehouse villas right there, still there from the original days. You can see they're like elevated from the ground, windows on all sides of them. A couple original places from Heritage USA days, PTL days, and here is an original campground. I remember some of the campground names are like Sugar Creek, I believe was one. Um, what was another one? Uh, honestly, I can't think, but let's drive in here and see if we can see anything from the original days. This is an original shower house from the PTL days, right here. The exact one. That is an old building. The exact shower house from the actual PTL days in the 80s. Still alive and kicking. I would love to see a tram stop. That would make my day. They would just preserve one tram stop. And I know there was one in here, near the barn. It's somewhere around here, but the likelihood of it being here is probably not that good. But I'm looking for it. 
You see it right there? That is an original shower house from early Heritage USA days. Wait a minute. I know I'm not seeing this. I know I'm not seeing an original tram stop. Is this a tram stop? I think this is the tram stop. This is the original tram stop that I've been talking about. One still exists. Look at this. We gotta get out and check it out. So cool seeing this. But this is what I was talking about. These were all around PTL and you would wait in these for an actual tram to come by and pick you up. And you would just wait inside there and uh, await your tram. Still can smell the wood. Not as uh, much as it used to be, but I can still smell that, that pine kind of smell inside here. It's so weird. I was probably in this very tram stop when I was no more than maybe 12 or 13 years old. Um, but finally found one inside a campground. So this is the only one I've seen. I'm not sure if there's another one that we haven't found yet, but this is the old tram stop at PTL. I think they've painted it this color. I don't think this was the original color that they were. Looks like they've painted it like a brown, but uh, original tram stop. And these were the corners that I would find or I'd be scared of the uh, hornet's nest because for some reason they love nesting in a wooden area. Original wooden floor. I remember just sitting here as a kid looking outside there waiting on the tram take us where we needed to go. Real blast from the past. Wait a minute, wait a minute, look at this. Look at this, I see one. There's one right there. They still do it. And there's a bee right there on top of it and he's not moving. I told you I wasn't lying. Right there it is. That is so cool. <laughs> So cool. It's always a good thing when you can flash back to your uh, your youth and remember such monumental memories that impacted your life. The old Heritage USA tram stop has been taken over as an after hours check-in propane and information center. Fun little history tour there. The flashback to my youth. Glad we found that one. Wow, that was cool. It's it's really cool that they actually have one that's still surviving. I, I was I wasn't sure if uh, if I was actually going to be able to find one, but really enjoying this uh, this tour of uh, history of my youth. All right, aside from that, I would say about the only thing else I think we could potentially see would be the old pyramid building that they held all the offices of. Uh, actually, Jim Baker, I think Tammy Faye might have actually had an office in there, as well as a lot of the uh, PTL staff and management. So we'll go try to find that. And, uh, I think we're gonna have pretty much seen all there is to see remaining here at Heritage USA. If my memory serves me right, it's somewhere up here on the left. standing there the way it was many years ago.
hope you guys enjoyed going around with me to take in a lot of things I haven't seen in so many years. Actually witness, after more than three decades, some of the surviving structures as well as some of the hidden things that still remain here on the Heritage USA theme park grounds. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like and be sure to subscribe to the channel. Your support means everything and it gives me the motivation to keep doing this and keep pressing on creating videos that hopefully everyone out there enjoys watching. So thanks for coming along with me today. It's time to put this quest in its capsule and store it away.